connect your headphones. You're listening to Nix Moon Reads. Psst, hey, just remember, um, about 57% of the people that watch my videos aren't even subscribed, so if you are part of that 57%, hit that subscribe button to receive absolutely nothing. Being dead honest here now, just please subscribe. Enjoy. <laughs> what should we do to top this? Ah, bananas and blueberries. Okay. Alrighty. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, perfect. I think she'll love it. It's missing something, though. Ah, strawberry syrup. I think I saw it in her cabinet. Yep, there it is. All right. And there we go. Oh, Aiden, you sure have outdone yourself. Gosh, those look so pretty. But I cannot dig in because this is for her. I still owe her big time for what she did yesterday. I still can't believe that she was willing to let me do that. Well, I shouldn't keep her waiting. Okay, and that does it. Okay, nice and easy. All right, there we go. Now for the tray. Okay, actually, I should probably wake her up first. Psst. Hey, hey, wakey wakey. <laughs> Rise and shine, sunshine. Did you sleep all right? That's good. How's your arm doing? Doing better? Fantastic. It looks like it's getting better. Here, would you mind um sitting up real quick? Yeah, yeah, there you go. All right. Here we go. Set that there in front of you. Put the napkins down there. The silverware here and here. And here you go. I made you breakfast in bed. Pancakes topped with some butter, bananas, blueberries, and most importantly, strawberry syrup. I made them this morning. I, um, I hope you like them. You're very welcome. It's the least I could do, really. After I woke up this morning and saw that you were still asleep, I thought back to last night. What happened and what you did for me. You saved my life. Really, you did. If you weren't there, or if you had never offered me your blood, I probably would have died in that alleyway. So, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. I um made those pancakes as a thank you. Are they good? Oh, thank goodness. I, I thought I might have overcooked them a little too much. Are they just right? They're the best pancakes you've ever had? Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I, I really do appreciate that. Thank you. Um, hey, if it's okay with you, would you mind if I asked you a couple of questions? I kind of want to get to know you a little better. I, I didn't really get the chance to know anything about you last night. You were kind of rushing to get that wound treated, and then you kind of just passed out. So, um, are you from around here? Ah, I see. You were born and raised here. I'm guessing you're a local? Ah, makes sense. I'm actually a local as well. Yep, born and raised. 21 years of my life. About to be 22. Oh, thank you. I, uh, I appreciate the early birthday wish, even though it's a month away. Hey, um, if you're okay with me asking, I was actually curious about something. Why did you let me drink your blood? I'm a vampire. You, you could have just left me to die and nothing bad would have happened to you. But why did you let me? I was someone who needed help and it was the right thing to do. Thank you. You really are such a kind person. Thank you so much. It it really does mean a lot to me. 
Oh, you have a question for me? Sure. Go ahead. How did I end up like that? Uh... It's kind of a long story, but you don't want to hear about it, trust me. It's... it's no big deal. Okay, you do have a fair point. An injury that is deadly enough to kill me would be a pretty big deal, but trust me, you don't want to hear it. It, um... No, 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 it's nothing, like, bad, it's just... Well, I mean, it is kind of a bad story. It's, um... It's a pretty rough one to listen to, if I do say so myself. You don't have to listen to it, you really don't. Are you sure you want to listen to it? It's kind of... You know... Okay, but before I tell you, you gotta promise me this. You have to keep this a secret, alright? Don't go telling anyone about this. Don't go telling someone that you know a vampire or anything. Because, heck, I think I'm putting you in danger just being here. Really? You'll keep it a secret? Thank you so much. Thank you, really. Okay. Here we go. So, before I became this... I was once just another normal human being like you. I had normal human plans with a normal human life. I was fresh out of high school. I was on my way to college to study to become a forensic pathologist. I really wanted to be the one who would provide the authorities the evidence they needed to close a case, and to also give closure to the families of the victims. But all those dreams were completely shattered one night. I was on my way home to the dorms, after partying out for a wicked long time, I don't know how long I'd been out. And then, I... I got attacked by a vampire. It was a pretty violent attack. He was clawing at me, he tore up my clothes, he bit me multiple times, but I was still able to fight him off. But the damage was already done. He had infected me a thousand times over. So I managed to get home, got to my dorm, got cleaned up, changed into a different set of clothes, patched myself up, and then went to bed. The next morning, my roommate asked me what had happened to me, and I just told him that I got into a fight at the party, which is a story he completely bought, thankfully. Then my life began to slowly change and get more and more difficult as my powers began to show themselves. I would always cause disruptions during lectures, and I would be asked to quiet down, and sometimes I got kicked out, and other times I would have to just completely miss the class entirely. I also started having problems going outside during the day. Every time I would go outside, I would always get a sunburn. And might I add, this was during the time when the weather was below 50 degrees. It wasn't even warm outside, it was freaking cold, and yet somehow I would always get a sunburn. So I started stocking up on sunscreen, and every time I would take my morning shower, before I got dressed, I would smother my entire body with sunscreen, and it worked, thankfully, but the problems didn't stop there. One night, me and my friends go out to Olive Garden to celebrate the fact that we had just completed a test that we had been studying weeks for. We didn't care about our grades on the test, we were just glad that the test was over. So we get our breadsticks brought to our table, and when I went to go take a bite of the breadstick, I, for some reason, couldn't eat it. I don't know why, but every time I brought the breadstick close to my mouth, I felt the urge to gag, and sometimes even throw up. So I, I just didn't eat the breadsticks, which really, really made me upset because the breadsticks are my most favorite part of Olive Garden. Anyways, we go home, and then one night, no, actually that same night, I was really, really thirsty. So I went to the fridge, and I grabbed a water bottle, and I chugged that thing in less than two seconds. And somehow I still was thirsty. So I did it again, and then when I got to the third bottle, I realized that water wasn't satisfying this thirst I was feeling. It was something different. Completely different. 
When I went to the bathroom to wash my face, I looked at myself in the mirror and I discovered that I had these things. Right here, yep, my fangs. They had finally grown in. And that's when I realized why this was all happening to me. It was the damn vampire that bit me. He had transferred this infection over to me and now I was suffering the consequences of it. And I, I just, I couldn't believe that this was happening to me. And the urges, the thirst, they got too much. They became way too rapid. I was terrified that if this behavior became more and more erratic, I'd catch the attention of the vampire hunters. So I, I knew that I had to find a way to satisfy this thirst in some way. And I knew exactly how. I had to get some kind of blood. So, that night, I snuck into my roommate's room, and I planned to suck only a tiny bit of blood from his arm, and then go to sleep. But, the urges had gotten so bad that I wasn't able to control myself, and I bit down on his arm really, really hard. And I took way, way more blood than I should have. Of course, he woke up, and he was yelling at me for what I was doing. He was terrified that I had bitten down on him. And that's when he found out what I truly was. A vampire. And I tried to explain to him that I wasn't trying to hurt him. I was just trying to get enough blood so that I wouldn't have these urges, but... I'm pretty sure that did a lot more harm than good, because... That night, I found out he hated vampires. A lot. So much so that he pushed me to the ground, ran to the kitchen, grabbed a knife, and tried to murder me. I didn't even have enough time to grab any of my stuff. I just... I just ran. I was running as fast as I could, and the other kids heard the commotion from their dorms and they started coming out asking him what the hell was going on, and they saw me running away with blood in my mouth and my roommate tailing behind me, yelling that I was a vampire, and he wasn't the only one in that dorm that hated vampires. So many more kids started chasing after me. I... I... I barely managed to escape. I ran all the way to my parents' place, and they let me in. They hugged me tightly, and I began to explain to them everything that was happening. How I had became a vampire, how everyone in the school now hates me and they want me dead, how I was in danger, and that I was pretty sure that the vampire hunters probably got word of what had happened. And my goals, all my plans, they just went down the drain. They allowed me to stay there for as long as I needed to. They intended on keeping me safe and helping me through this in any way they could. It... it really meant a lot to me. They allowed me to stay at their place for a few nights, and they fed me some mice so that I had something to feed on to satisfy my urges. But then... One night, they, uh... got a knock at the door, and... it was the vampire hunters. They... They knew I was there, and they had come to get me. And my dad refused to let them in. He did not want them to hurt me. He held them back while they tried to force their way in. And my mom took me in. She opened a window and told me to jump and run as fast as I could. She told me that both her and dad loved me very, very much, but that I needed to get out of here as quickly as possible. I hugged her one last time, and I told her I loved her, too. And then I jumped out, and I ran as fast as I could. I I don't even know if my parents are okay, or if they're even still alive. All I just kept repeating in my brain was my mom's words, telling me to run and not look back. It was hard navigating through the night, but I was able to get around. The, um, the rain also helped keep me covered. At least for a bit. As I got into the city, the hunters were tailing behind me, and then one of them shot me. He hit me right in the chest, and I slid into the alleyway and hid behind a bunch of garbage cans and 
Blade dead. And it actually managed to work. They saw me and they assumed I was already dead and cheered for victory. I was scared that they were going to come over and finish the job, but that's not what happened. They left me where I was because they said that I was right where I belonged. It, in the trash. After they were gone, I, I tried, I tried desperately to treat the wound, but it was too severe. There was nothing I could do until you walked by. I, <laughs> hey, no, 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 no! You're supposed to be resting. You still haven't fully healed. What are you doing? A hug. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. I'm so sorry that I... That I, uh... Just dropped that on you. I, um... It has not been a great... Past few days for me. Thank you, though. You are the first person who is not my family to treat me like a human being. That's why I made those pancakes for you. Because your kindness really does mean a lot to me. So thank you so much for listening to me. Um, no, not really. I don't have a place to go to. I can't exactly go back home because I'd be putting my parents in more danger. That's if they're still there, obviously. And I can't go back to my dorms, because everyone there wants me dead, so... I'm... kinda on my own. Wait... what? Stay here with you? I... Are you serious? I... Uh, no, no, I, I can't accept that. I, I really do, but I, I just can't accept that. I, I love the offer. I really appreciate it, but I have to refuse for your own safety. The vampire hunters could find me, and they'd track me down to here. And they'd bust through the door, and then they'd, they'd take you away and to... I don't know what they'd do to you. I don't want you to get hurt because of me. I don't, I don't, I don't want you to get hurt. You'd be able to outsmart them? I'm sorry, but vampire hunters are very smart, and they're really unpredictable. I don't exactly know how you'd be able to... What? What did you just say? You're an ex-vampire hunter? This is a trap, isn't it? Oh my god. This is a... What? You don't hunt vampires anymore? You, you better not be lying. You, you aren't going to turn me over to them, are you? Are you... Are you... Are you telling me the truth? Okay. Alright. I believe you. I believe you. You saved my life last night. A vampire hunter wouldn't do that. So I trust that you're telling the truth. So if I were to stay here, you'd be able to protect yourself with your skills? And me? <laughs> okay. It's a deal then. Thank you. Thank you. You are a lifesaver. You are an angel. Thank you so much. Yes? What is it? Uh, of course, yeah. If there's something else you want to tell me, then by all means, I'm all ears. Uh, oh! Um... What? You... You think I'm handsome? <laughs> 
Thank you. Um, uh, you're really, really pretty. You know that? You really are. <laughs> um, are you okay? Hey. Hey, look at me. You saved my life, and you were willing to listen to me whenever I told you about how I ended up like this. And you're still here. I trust you more than anything in this world. Yeah, I know that's a lot to dump on you at this moment, but I seriously do mean it. Because given that I'm a vampire, you could have turned me into the vampire hunters and you would have gotten a big reward. But you're not doing that. You're instead treating me like a human being. Thank you. You are here. Sorry, I just, I, I, I couldn't. You, you too? That's great to know. Um, I think, I, I think we can do this. I know we just met, but knowing that someone like you exists, I've never been this happy in my entire life. So I promise you, I will do the best I can to do the same for you in return. Of course, anything for you, my beloved. Thank you. You should get yourself some rest now. That wound's not gonna heal itself. Go on ahead and rest back down, okay? There you go. Here we are. And here, take my cape. Just as an extra blanket. It also prevents the sun from getting onto you, so if the sun gets on your face, just cover yourself. It's all you need. <laughs> I'll, um, I'll be in the living room. If you need me, just holler at me, okay? All right. Sleep well, my beloved. Holy crap, I just kissed a girl! Thank you.